I'm John Marino, senior editor with The Deal covering private equity, joined this morning by Spencer Klein, Morrison Forrester's co-head of M&A. But we haven't seen that much M&A, or at least we've seen kind of a dearth of M&A, especially, especially on the private equity side. So I guess, A, a what's causing it, and B, where maybe are we seeing proverbial green shoots? Well, we certainly have seen a slow level of activity in the first half of this year, no question about it. And in fact, the numbers don't lie. They're very clear that globally and in the U.S. activity is lower in the first half of this year than it has been in almost a decade. Right. We are seeing some activity, though, and certainly the second half of 2013 will be significantly better than the first half. I don't know if it will do anything other than make the full year flat versus right. 2012. But we're seeing some interesting activity. Telecommunications and technology continue to be significant areas. We think SoftBank Sprint was a catalyst for change in the wireless business. Certainly the Vodafone uh, Verizon transaction is follow up to that and will move the numbers for the year by itself pretty dramatically. Healthcare and life sciences continue to be active sectors and, and that won't change as the Affordable Care Act comes online and as those markets continue to search for efficiencies, we'll continue to see more M&A activity in those sectors. That sounds like probably a boost because there was a report this morning that PE activity specifically in the healthcare sector is way down. Now mm -hmm. you say you see buyers coming into the U.S. specifically from Asia. We do, absolutely. We see strategics generally being more active than private equity right now, including in sectors like healthcare. But we are starting to see more and more activity from our clients in Asia. So, for example, the Japanese clients that we do a lot of work for, we're a lot slower during the first half of this year. For the prior two or three years, there was a tremendous amount of activity from Japanese corporates doing acquisitions in the U.S. That really slowed down at the beginning of this year, partly due to the, the volatility in the yen. But we're seeing those clients come back and looking very seriously at some sizable transactions. We're also seeing Chinese companies get more active. Right. Historically, the activity from Chinese companies was pretty limited and was focused largely on the former state-owned enterprises. Today, we're seeing it a lot from the technology and other growth companies that are looking for growth and the ability to deploy capital and change their strategy within their country by going outside their country as well. And we're seeing a lot of activity in the U.S. and elsewhere and have a number of deals that we're focused on for Chinese companies. Smithfield was obviously not in that sector, but nevertheless, I think a harbinger of the increased activity we're seeing from Chinese companies. All right, and obviously this morning we've got the news coming out about Larry Summers. He's pulling out of the uh, the proverbial Fed chair race. We don't know who's going to be filling that seat. What we do know is that at some point inflation is going to be taking off. Um, what kind of an impact are you expecting for M&A? Yeah, well, interest rates are certainly a an important component to M&A activity, particularly for private equity funds who are trying to do their deals using leverage, but also a lot of strategics who want to make sure that they're taking advantage of, of a, a favorable interest rate environment. We may see activity increase over the short term because of the concern that over time interest rates will rise. But I think the announcement this morning suggests to the street at least that interest rates will remain relatively in check for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. And that might significantly improve activity over the course of the remainder of this year. All right. It sounds like the forecast is for a pretty good end of the year. I'm John Marino. That's the deal.